Hi everybody, Joe Conroy, Certified Financial Planner, and with me today is my assistant for the morning, Piper. I'm working from home. My wife is out on a field trip with the two boys, so we get to spend some quality time. What I will tell you, she's not the best employee. She constantly sleeps on the job. She drinks on the job. I'm cleaning up after her messes, uh, but that's okay. So uh, I wanted to share a quick story. Uh, it is a shareholder meeting that I went to, and it's in Baltimore. So a few years ago, they did the uh, dog and pony show for this company. And, uh, someone raised their hand at the question and answer, and they said, Mr. So-and-so, you know, CEO, really appreciate everything you've done for the city and for creating jobs and, and all that, which is absolutely true. She said, I met with a financial advisor. I was getting ready for retirement, and I was a former school teacher. And I told the financial advisor that I wanted to put all my money into this one particular stock. My financial advisor told me that that wouldn't be a prudent move. I shouldn't do that. I should be diversified own the stock, but don't own all of it in that stock. And she said, and I didn't listen to him. I put all my money in this stock and it was going through the roof. So it seemed like it was a really good move and everyone's clapping. And the CEO says, well, it sounds like you're smarter than that financial advisor. And I was looking around and thinking, were they serving Kool-Aid before the meeting that I missed or what's going on here? So let's bring it to current day. That CEO has kind of pulled back from his position. He stepped down as CEO. And that company is actually facing some accounting irregularity probes and there's a lot of question marks surrounding it. So um, that stock has absolutely fallen on hard times. And I think about that retired school teacher a lot because I don't know what she's doing now. Her nest egg, if she did put it all in this company, which is Under Armour, has certainly take a beating. Um, not many people can withstand 50, 60 percent losses in their nest egg and still retire the way that they're used to. So I hope she did finally take some financial advice from someone who knew what they were talking about and diversify. Um, but the lesson here is that you don't want to be over allocated to one particular stock. You don't know, even though that there might be some darling of Wall Street like Under Armour was back in the day, it isn't always going to be that case. That's why you want to put your eggs in different baskets. And I'm sure in a few years, Piper will make videos trying to tell people to do the same thing. But until then, thank you for watching. I appreciate it.